Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning in to my speaker blog. Listen, if you're watching this on anything other than TopherMorrison.com, where my blog is located, listen, we're glad to have you, but you're missing out on a lot of great content, so head over to TopherMorrison.com, sign up for the blog, check out all my other free resources like webinars. Speaking of which, I just got done filming a webinar on how to save between 50 to 90% off hotel venues, and I thought before I shut down all the lights, I'd answer another question on the Facebook professional speaking page. It came from Philip, and he was wondering about advice on uh, streaming online content on the web. I don't, know, I don't know where else you would stream it, so I'm <laughs> assuming it's on the web. Uh, anyway, so uh, let's see, Philip, great question. There's several different sites that I think are great, and it really depends upon what you're doing with that video or what you're doing with the audio. So a um, couple of resources for you to check out that I like, and I'll let you know a couple that I hate. First thing I cannot stand is GoToWebinar. I think they are a legacy site. I think they're talking about history now. I think there are so many better options that are out there which are much more affordable, much more efficient, and they do something which GoToWebinar, in my opinion, doesn't do very well, or you know, I don't, even, don't even know if it can. Forgive me, I don't know, because I've shut down my account a long time ago. But the problem with GoToWebinar is it's great for doing live web, well, it's not even great for doing live webinars, in my opinion, I think it's fraught with mistakes, but you can do live webinars, but the problem with doing a live webinar is you have to be doing it. And in today's culture, you should always be asking yourself, how can I automate? And you really can't automate very well, in my opinion, with GoToWebinar. Uh, I think it sucks, personally. It's just my personal opinion. Uh, the ones that I like, if you're doing webinars, there's two which I think are really good. Presentation Domination and Evergreen Business Systems. I think are fantastic for creating online webinars. I use Evergreen Business Systems, uh, and I, I have no problem with it. If you would like to see a sample of how cool their format is, you can go over to my TopherMorrison.com website. You can click on uh, Speaker Training Webinar Series, uh, which is in the lower right-hand corner of the website. It's a little picture of a computer. Click on that. I've got several different titles to choose from. All of those things are operated through Evergreen Business Systems. Click on it. Let me tell you, it is slick. It, the system is nice and it works really well. Um, sign up for one or all and just see how the whole system works. It's pretty cool. So I'm a big fan of that one. See, there's a couple of other things. If you want to sell online product, then I think Kajabi works really well. I'm a big fan of that. The Bulletproof Speaker Training Membership site that I have, I host that through Kajabi, and I never have any problems with it. I enjoy it. Um, and then if you have a WordPress site and you want to create a membership site inside that, there's another one called Wishlist. Now, I have that one, but I haven't set it up yet. It seems to be a little bit more complicated than Kajabi, but the advantage of the wish list is you pay one time and you own it and you don't have to pay monthly fees like I do with Kajabi. So there's some upside and some downside. The upside with Kajabi is that it's idiot proof. I am proof of that because I'm an idiot and I've used it. So I've proven that it's idiot proof. Not sure how that works. <laughs> anyway, it's a real simple system. I love it. Everything you've seen inside the Bulletproof Speaker Training Membership site, if you are a member of it, and if you're not, you should be a member of it. Uh, all of that, I've set the whole thing up myself. So it's real simple and quick. Every time I get a new video, I can upload it, bing, bang, boom, it's done. Uh, Wishlist, I think, is probably a more economical way to go, probably also more efficient with the future of things. I think Kajabi's gonna have to come up with some pretty cool stuff on its next release in order to keep and retain their business because there's a lot of programs that are coming out now which are cheaper. Um, so they've got some work cut out for them, but I'm a big fan. Uh, let's see here, so I got Presentation Domination, Evergreen Business Systems, those are your webinars for online content delivery if you're selling stuff. I think uh, Wishlist and Kajabi are your two best and I would avoid GoToWebinar and I think that's enough babbling for one day, all right? If you haven't yet been over to my Facebook page, go to Facebook forward slash professional speaking. You can ask me any question you like about the professional speaking business, and I will answer it for you in a video uh, blog just like this. Head over to my blog, subscribe to that, and last but not least, you really should check out bulletproofspeaking.com. If you go over there, you can sign up for a free ebook. Once you do that, you'll have an opportunity to join a membership program where if you think this content is good, let me tell you, this is just the free stuff. This is the stuff I just think of real quick. The stuff that's in there is awesome. It's really cool. And if you're serious about really developing your speaking business and utilizing presentations as a part of your business and, and networking and whatnot, you really should join the group. All right, cool. So hope that helps. Please take care until we meet again. Dare to dream and make each day an epic adventure. Bye for now.